How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at a new app from Samsung. It's a beta app and I think they've come out with this before in the past. I know I've done a video on it and it's called the Galaxy Enhance X app and pretty much this gives you more options to edit your photos on here and it actually works really really nice and I went ahead and done some on here but I will walk through and show you the differences on these and I will flash a before and after editing on here so let's go ahead and start over again after some technical difficulties so let's go ahead and add a photo let's go ahead and discard that one and then uh, we go ahead and add one let's go ahead and start off with this photo right here and you got so many different options you do have an auto mode right here which is just going to do an auto and this will auto automatically enhance everything on there you could also do hdr which as you can see will brighten things up quite a bit on here and you could definitely tell the difference when using this you could also adjust the uh, strength right here so you can make it less noticeable on there as well so it actually looks pretty good and if you're satisfied with that you can go hit that check mark you can also go to brighten over here so it will brighten things up quite a bit and again you could adjust that strength so if you don't want it to be too strong you can hit zero or whatever and if you don't like it just hit the x you can also fix blur so if you have any issues with blurring on here this should take care of that as well so I think it actually looks pretty good. I don't think we have any issues with blurring on there to begin with. And then you could also hit sharpen. And then once you hit sharpen, things will definitely clear up quite a little bit. But I definitely prefer the darker, more contrasty look on the original compared to the brighter. But to each his own, as far as how you want to edit your photos, this just looks more dramatic than this does, I think, in my opinion. And if you're satisfied with that, just hit that check mark. If you go into more, you also get more options for remove reflection, remove shadows, fix lens distortion. Everything that is going to be applied to it should highlight if it's not like, say, if you're taking a picture of somebody and you have a face on there, the portrait will pop up. That way you could adjust that. And the face option will pop up. That way you could adjust it. And when you're done with that, editing your photo, you're just gonna hit the download mark and you could select the resolution, which is pretty much going to be just one original, and you're gonna hit save, and that will automatically save it as a separate copy, so it will not mess with your original photo. So that's also pretty good. So let's go ahead and try another one, and let's go ahead and go into a portrait shot over here. So here we got a nice portrait shot, actually still looks pretty good, taken on the Galaxy S23. And keep in mind that this app is only available for the Galaxy S23 series, no other device as far as I know, and not yet. I will post a link in the description down below that way you guys can go to the Galaxy Store and check this out. So let's go ahead and click on HDR. And as you can see, it definitely lightens things up a little bit. I don't quite like it. I like the darker look over here. This just makes me look actually like I'm Santa Claus with this lighter color and it definitely shows out my gray. So let's go ahead and knock that down just a little bit. And here we go as far as HDR. Let me knock it back up to one. And then once you're satisfied with that, here's the new version. Here's the old version. So you could definitely tell a difference in that highlighting on there so let's go ahead and click the check mark and then you could also hit sharpen and then this will obviously sharpen your image just a little bit more as you can see right there definitely a little bit more sharper you can see a little bit more of my hairs on my beard and up here so it actually looks pretty good let's go ahead and hit check mark if you go into more now it will bring up portrait and face so let's go ahead and do on um, portrait and you got different options as you can see right here it's definitely uh blurring out the background a little bit more on this portrait look and you could adjust the level of blur on here as well that way if you don't want it too blurry you could hit blurry or you could just blow it all out and just have it to where it actually looks like you're cut out on there and as you can see the difference 
really, really nice difference when it comes down to that portrait blur. It actually does a pretty good job of cutting things out. Maybe my glasses right there didn't quite pick up, but I actually think it does a pretty good job. Hit that check mark, and then if you go back, go into portrait, and then you have different options right here to where you could do enhancing your photos. And this one actually big circle. So this will actually have a really, really extreme portrait view on here to where the whole background isn't even, you can't even tell what it is. You can tell it's green and there's trees on there. So that's pretty cool. You could also decrease the value on that if you want to. So it actually looks pretty good, but that is insane. So when you're done, you're gonna go ahead and hit that check mark. And then you're gonna go ahead and hit download. And then you could also crop here if you want to as well. So you could crop in a little bit more just to get that sky out of the way. Hit that check mark and boom, there you go. You get a little bit more of a cropped in photo. That way you don't have wasted space on there, but it actually looks really, really good. And if you don't wanna mess with all of this, you could just hit the magic one and this will just do things automatically. Now there is a feature like this on the regular Samsung app which is called the remaster. So if you want to remaster a photo, you just click on these three dots and you hit remaster photo. And this is more of a simplistic version of the Galaxy Enhanced X. And this does actually a good job. I use this a lot when editing photos for all my videos and, and stuff like that. But uh, you can do that as well. It's just the Enhanced X gives you a lot more options when it comes down to tweaking your actual photos. Nighttime shot. And then here you could actually fix the blur. You could do some HDR just to heighten things up just a little bit. As you can see, it definitely brightens things up quite a bit. And it still keeps that detail on the fire hydrant. But as you can see right here, let's go ahead and click on fix blur. And you can see that chain is a little bit blurry. I don't know if you can see that. So the chain is a bit blurry. So let's go ahead and fix blur and see what that does. So now the chain has gotten just a little bit better when it comes down to sharpening things up just a little bit. So that's really, really cool. And then you go hit that check mark and then let's go ahead and see portrait. See is portraits not available on here because it's not a face. And then as far as sharpening goes, you can sharpen things up just a little bit more on here as well. And definitely can notice that chain a lot more now that things are sharpened up, but then it also sharpens up the background to where it doesn't really look right. It looks too over sharpened on that. So let's go ahead and take that off, save, and you are all done. So let's go ahead and do one more and then we'll call it a day on here. So let's go ahead and choose this flower right here. And then here we go with the flower. Let's go ahead and hit HDR. And this will definitely brighten things up quite a bit. Let's go ahead and knock that value down just a little bit. As you can see, hit that check mark. Let's go ahead and hit on sharpen. So you can see right there, this is a before. And then go on over to an after. So really, really nice detail. As you can see, it brings out everything, all those little lines and the petals quite a bit. So that's really, really cool. And boom, we got just the flower, no wasted space. Really, really cool app, Galaxy Enhance X. Check it out on the Galaxy Store. Very useful to edit your photos if you like to edit photos and things like that. Not quite uh, as useful like if you take raw images to edit photos like that this is just enhancing your current photos that if you, uh, if they're just a little blurry or something or you want to make them pop just a little bit you could use this app to just make things look a little bit better and it gives you a lot more different options to do so and when you save it saves that a copy it does not save over your original image so so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down and links will be posted down below so you can go check this out on the galaxy store peace